Chapter 4 just got a ton of dev updates and even release date news along with some big updates on Project Playtime, Huggy Wuggy Tease to be returning, new games, some massive updates on the Poppy Playtime movie, and much more over the past month. So starting off small, in my last news video, we got a brand new banner for Poppy Playtime that people for the most part were not a fan of. And a few weeks ago, the developers responded by updating the banner once again, which looks so much better. And with this now being the fourth banner update so far i think it's finally the best of them all in some sad news recently the poppy games director isaac has announced they've left mob entertainment and this is actually a pretty massive deal for the games because he was the one who directed the vision for the first three chapters and obviously won't be working on the rest of the game this along with other big developers leaving in past videos like james micah andy zach means that a big chunk of the poppy team will be gone for the last couple of chapters so hopefully this doesn't mean the game will drop in quality for chapter 4 especially with how good chapter 3 ended up being on the bright side though in Isaac's post announcing his leave he had a segment about what's next for Poppy Playtime where he said I won't be working on it but shortly before my departure we were able to crank out story outlines for the remaining chapters of Poppy confirming that at least the outline of the rest of the game's lore is finished in terms of merch recently the developers have finally announced they are releasing their monster catnap plush actually here in just a couple of days which will be cool plus company youtubes has finally revealed their catnap plush from its concept art going from this to this which honestly doesn't look as good as i was expecting but there's still other ones to reveal that might end up looking better and perhaps most importantly going over to amazon the poppy developers have recently partnered with the company trends international to release literally hundreds of new licensed posts Posters, including a ton from chapter 3 which is also pretty cool and I recommend checking it out moving on to some game updates with chapter 3 finally releasing a couple of months ago a lot of people have been wondering what is next from the poppy developers and they might have just revealed it to us early since going over to their LinkedIn page where a bunch of requested jobs they need are listed we find some interesting updates as they've recently listed two jobs for senior game designer and senior game programmer with both of these jobs telling applicants you'll assist in pioneering a new and exciting venture as we work on an original single player title in the sci-fi slash comedy slash action genre which seems to suggest that there is another new game the developers are working on alongside poppy playtime in the sci-fi genre and they are looking for people to start development on it right now and while this might sound crazy to some newer fans the developers back in 2021 actually held a casting call for a bunch of characters for a new sci-fi animated show they were working on which they since teased a couple times more through pictures in their office of characters and teasers on their website so it seems like whatever this project is it's now being developed into a game and they talk more about it in the future of poppy playtime later in this video so make sure to stick around but moving on to the big news over the past few days in the poppy playtime discord server the ceo zach has given us a bunch of updates on the future of the games that reveal a ton like for one if you don't remember back before chapter 3 had released the developers had told us they were planning to meet with movie studios to discuss making their film adaptation of poppy playtime first announced back in early 2022 but this update was almost two months ago so what happened to the film well somebody actually asked the devs about this saying you told us you will meet with movie studios what about it with zach again responding major update coming soon on that and this is a pretty big deal because if the developers were going to movie studios that likely means they have a general idea for their scripts or at least what they want the movie to look like pitching the script or idea to the studios they met with and with zach here saying there's going to be a major update soon this suggests that the meeting likely went well plus this update by the time i'm making this video is a couple of weeks old now so this major major announcement coming soon could come at any time so make sure you're subscribed to not miss any updates on that speaking of the movie though in an even bigger update somebody asked the developers are you guys going for more practical effects meaning physical props or cgi overhaul stuff meaning special effects and the devs responded saying hopefully a combination like we did for the mommy commercial in chapter two and this indirectly confirms a ton about the film for one this 
this confirms the movie is currently planned to be live action not animation since of course if they are using CGI or practical effects that only applies to live action movies and more importantly the source reference Zach uses here for what he wants the film to look like is the mommy commercial from chapter 2 which was a live action VHS tape that used a bunch of effects and animation to show off mommy long legs moving around and stretching and so apparently this is what they are aiming for for the actual movie now this isn't an official confirmation or anything of course Zach only said they were hoping for this so it could totally change when production actually begins but as someone who's never been a big fan of the movie idea from the star I do think live action is likely the best choice and gives us the best chance of the film actually being good assuming they do it correctly but moving on from the movies Huggy Wuggy might have just gotten teased to actually return in future chapters as when the devs were asked to compare Poppy Playtime to the movie series Star Wars Zack responded by saying prototype equals Palpatine Huggy equals Darth Vader and immediately people found this weird because while I haven't seen these Star Wars movies after doing some research apparently Palpatine labeled by the devs as the prototype had created Darth Vader labeled by the devs as Huggy and in the films gave him the iconic suit with life support technology in order to revive him after his death in the movies a super odd detail considering we also killed Huggy in chapter one and many theorize he can make a return later in the game and while normally I would just write this off as some kind of joke or misrepresentation Zach after a short period actually deleted this message and even sent another message saying he deleted a message trying to intentionally draw more attention to this clue so perhaps this could have been our very first official tease into the future of the game and that the prototype could somehow put Huggy back together in future chapters like Palpatine did Darth Vader furthermore Zach also gave us some massive updates on chapter 4 and other games in the franchise like for one we finally got some news on the game project playtime as recently Zach gave us an update on the state of the game saying I know our team wouldn't want me to get into the details of our plans for project right now so I won't but I will say that we are absolutely going to do many many things to it internally we are mainly focused on chapter 4 and the development of a new exciting game most likely referencing the sci-fi game we talked about earlier and for one this update confirms that project is still planned to have a ton of updates come to it so no the game is not canceled even though it's been multiple months since we've gotten any updates plus most importantly Zach told us that at least for now they were mainly focused on their next game and of course chapter 4 which is good for us fans of the main game because we won't have to wait as long even if it means project won't update as fast as maybe some of us were hoping for in terms of their recently released Roblox game Poppy Playtime Forever people have been asking when the next big update for that title will be and Zach had actually told us that the plan is for the game to get updated as early as this month which is good for fans of that game plus he's also confirmed some minor things like that the Xbox port for Poppy is coming soon which is always great but most importantly for the upcoming chapter 4 Zach told us a ton about the title already for one he gave us what I think is our first dev update for the game saying I did want to let you guys know that chapter 4's development is going really well right now we spent so much energy in the last year to hire amazing people and we are seeing better and better things happen as a result of our increased internal expertise or in other words apparently chapter 4 is well underway already and it's already starting to look pretty good thanks to their company growing a ton in the past couple years and they expand on this more when somebody asked when we would get our first teaser for chapter 4 saying I was wondering that myself actually we are in pre-production but once we are in production there will be more to show if that makes sense or in other words that means the game isn't currently being built yet but rather they are planning the story characters abilities map and whatnot of the game which is great to hear but this also likely means we won't get a teaser trailer or anything anytime soon which is a little unfortunate but I'll live in terms of the game's release already somebody asked about the potential release date for chapter 4 compared to chapter 3's crazy two-year wait where Zach responded saying it will come out much faster you guys will not have to wait two years not even close to that giving us our first release date update on the game and from the way Zach's talking about it it sounds like we could be getting the game extremely soon maybe at some point later this year or early next year assuming 
assuming everything's going to plan so that makes me extremely excited and if you want all the updates when they finally come out make sure you guys are subscribed